Welcome back folks. Let's go ahead and do a disassembly and the cleaning of the uh, the PMP Grizzly. This is uh, Tommy, help with gadgets. And uh, this was another one of the knives from, uh, from Mr. Eddie that he's loaned to me. And this is a behemoth of a knife. Um, and it's already dropping shut very good. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the insides of this thing. The... Um, Pivot screw is a T10. Hmm. Let's try this side. That'd be more like it. And it did not. Uh, it does not appear to have any uh, any um, Loctite on it. I want to loosen this one. No, it's not loosening at all. It's not moving. All right, I just I wanted to make sure I didn't have that in the bind, and then the the body screws are T8s, so that's uh, you would expect something of this size to be T8 body screws. There are count them one, two, three, four, five body screws. That's uh. Not surprising, considering that this is a uh, large knife. And I'm going to try to keep these in in a kind of order there. Just in case, it's probably the same size, but uh, just in case that's not the, not the way things are. Try to get them back this the same way. And that one was actually loose already, so um, I'll make sure to check the other side as well to make sure that we're good to go. All right, theoretically. Let's take this top screw loose there. It looked like it might go into the back spacer. I'm going to set that one up there. All right. Ah, we have movement now. Very careful. Very carefully removing that. All right, and we have multi-row bearings, which is very cool. Very tight tolerances on the uh, on the uh, pivot there, but that's a really thick uh, piece of metal there. Let's see if I can. There we go. Get that one off, and we'll push this. We might not be pushing that through. Let's see if we can get that off. All right. Let me see if I can. Get this to, there we go. There we go. All right. Move it bound up just a tad. Let me go ahead and get that in. And now we can wipe this down. There's a good bit of, um, there's a good bit of uh, milling on this to, to attempt to remove some of the titanium. I think it's titanium. Um, I'll need to check that out. I don't think it's aluminum. Um, but uh, it's even a good good amount of space there in the in the back spacer. All right, let that dry. Do the same for here. Make sure to get this lock face, detent ball, and then the same. There's some lightning areas on that as well. 
Let me get one of the cotton swabs. Clean this area here. Okay. Same for here. And then we'll let that dry. I want to get another alcohol pad. And see if we can't get the blade cleaned off. And again, that is the blade alone on this knife weighs more than uh, than most knives, I would believe. In fact, in fact, let's uh, unless I forget in the next couple of seconds, I can bring the scale out and uh, and tell you how much this blade weighs if I don't cut my finger first. That would be uh, unfortunate. All right, let's get that uh, again. And here as well. And also there. Then we'll let move this off to the side. And bring in the scale. See if we can get a, uh, get a measurement there. Five point eight five ounces for the blade alone. Um, and yes, this this knife uh, does weigh a good bit. Eleven point five ounces, uh, not counting uh, the uh, pivot. Pivot screw, body screws, bearings. Uh, so again, it's a uh, it's a big knife. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, get this back together. Well, not yet. Let's uh, let's uh, clean the bearings off first. Again, you've got the multi-row bearings and. Uh, there was no uh, there was no hesitation in the bearing action. It uh, fell with authority, as a heavy knife blade is uh, is wont to do. All right, let's that's eight. Let's go to my ten here. Just putting my fingernail in those in those threads and trying to uh, to clean that off. And then one more thing, we have the pivot itself. Clean that off. Make sure there's no gunk that would cause it not to uh, sit flat. And I think, let's see, I think that's going to fit in there and spin freely. And let me check what's, all right, um, toward the back here. All right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and put a bearing on. I'm going to use some gunny glide. And put a couple of three dots around this one. Since this is a, a really, really big uh, bearing. Let's go ahead and put this one on. In fact, hang on a second. I'll put a little bit in the in this just to let it run around. All right. Get that off of there. And another bearing. A 
little bit more oil on this side. And then let's slide this one. Well, let's do a little dot there on the detent ball. All right. And see if we can't get this in place. Looks like I lined that up good. Uh, let's get the pivot screw. Get a little bit of uh, Loctite stick on it. I like using the Loctite stick. Just uh, a little less messy, in my opinion. And uh, still seems to do the job. Usually I'll try to leave it, uh, once I get everything set up, I'll... Uh, um, try to leave everything alone overnight at least um, in order to make sure it uh, sets up properly. We'll go ahead and put this top screw in. May or may not have needed that. I should have looked at that closer um, when I had it apart. And I may see that on camera when I go to to do the uh, to do the uh, editing and uploading. All right. <clears throat> this is pretty just pr pretty straightforward. Just a lot more knife than. Uh, than a lot of the ones I'm used to. You know, most knives um, I do are between three and five ounces. Um, and this blade itself was over five ounces. So this is not one that you would um, probably find comfortable to carry in your pocket for uh, any length of time. This would not be one that you would choose to um, to carry on like a seven mile hike or something like that. Um, I don't think. I'm just you know kind of spitballing here, but uh, I'm thinking it's probably not a probably not one that you would want to do. All right, and what I want to do is check all of these. Probably spinning some. Check the other side. Oh, that one was loose too. That one's loose. May have a little bit different acoustics. Um, I'm going to use this handy dandy little thing here. Um, what it does is allow you to hold on to the knife, prevent those other side of the knife, those screws from turning, and without trying to uh, wrestle another. large driver and this standoff here doubles as the stop pin so there you have it got to get centering Authoritative whack there, and whoo, boom. Wow, I think it's even smoother than uh, than before. So there you have it. This is the PMP Grizzly. It is a uh, very large knife, and uh, there you go for a disassembly and cleaning of that one. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. I uh, really appreciate uh, those that uh, that uh, watch and, and hit the like button and, and leave comments. 
Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, would this be a uh, would this be a daily driver for you, or um, would it be uh, one that uh, is a conversation piece and maybe a paperweight or something else? Let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope to see you again soon, and uh, thank you for watching.